Hello and welcome to the introduction to image processing using MATLAB, the 8th session. We will look at the point transformations further on. Now a logarithmic transformation is basically where the transformation function is of the shape of a log function. So when R is represented by the image on which we are processing, S gives the output. This is how the transformation function looks like, where C is any constant which can change values. So we will try and program this. So I'll just make a new file for this. Now first I'll just read the image. So I'll read maybe the blocks image this time. Blocks.tiff. Now I'll convert it to a double, but I'll convert it properly. So I'll say I am two double A. Now I'll initialize the final image to AD. I can also initialize this to zeros, but I can simply uh, use AD as the X initial X and then keep overwriting values as we proceed. I'll store the rows and columns as the variables R and C and this is equal to size of AD or X or anything. So that's my size I've got. Now I have a factor here which was this capital C. I'll take it as 1 initially. Now for now I will loop across the rows first. So for i is equal to 1 to r which had the the variable r had the value of the number of rows inside that image or and from for j is equal to 1 to C that had the value of column. So I am proceeding each row wise, I am proceeding in the image towards the column. So I am operating row wise and I am assigning the value of x, i, j that is I am overwriting the values of my final mat matrix as x, i, j is equal to that was the value that we had C into 1 plus log of 1 plus r. So 1 plus r is my original image. So I will just say ad ij. So that is my transformation. I will end this loop. I will end the other loop and then maybe I will just subplot divide it into two portions on the first I'll say I am show the original image. I don't have to convert it into uint because I had it converted to a double using I am to double and I'll say before transformation. This is just to show the title and I can say subplot one, two on the second part of the plot. I am show my new x. So this is what I get. You see that I have this is the initial image and this was the transformation that we had. So this is used to reduce the contrast of brighter regions. So as you can see the brighter regions the contrast is definitely reduced. I can change the factor too. So maybe if I say the factor is 5 or 6 and I run it you can see this is the figure that we get. I can change it to the normal cameraman that we were using and this is how it is showing. So that's the logarithmic function. I can also add the um, power function to it. So I can maybe say x i j y i j that's for the initial this thing. I can also assign y is equal to a d here. So my initialization is done and y is equal to I will say c into 
r to the power gamma was the kind of function we had so r would be a d i j that's my original image to the power assign a 2 here I can show this in another figure here figure I am show y control enter so that was using the logarithmic one and this is using the power function the gamma function I can change the values so if I say maybe 0 0.2 you can see we kind of lose the whole thing to the power 20 and it's very dark the way it's uh, giving me results this was the basically the exponential gives me the opposite of the logarithmic operation it enhances the contrast of uh, brighter re regions so this is what we were getting here so this brings us the, to the end of this lecture in the next we will look at other points transformations. Thank you.